GCAN 7.2 versus GCAN 7.3 thanks to App Cloner app we are able to get GCAN 7.2 and GCAN 7.3 from the same developer working on the same phone at the same time using the same sensor and we want to end once for all which one is better which one should you use in your phone if you're ready let's go there Welcome back to Smart Depot. Today we're going to start off with keeping them side by side, GCAM 7.3 and 7.2. And actually, to solve the curiosity many people have about GCAM, should I upgrade to 7.3? Should I still be using 7.2? Which one is better? Which one has more future? Which one takes better pictures? Today we took our time to go through all the possible scenarios that you could go through between these two GCAM. Of course, the GCAM 7.3 have the 24 frame per second video recording but apart from that and few other things um no do not disturb access uh apart from that you won't probably see much uh, difference but what we're actually going to check out is when it comes to taking pictures picture quality stability generally stability in my own device gcam 7.2 one hands down it could record and save videos gcam 7.3 cannot even save videos you can record but you can't save videos so if you're here for the first time you're watching our channel for the first time please click on that subscribe button because this video took a whole lot out of us and wherever you're watching from stay safe stay indoors and let me take you through the processes of how i go through remember these two cameras will be using the same setting the same setting the same configuration so we start with outdoors so the way i do it is that i go out i snap at a particular scenario the uh, particular setting on this one gcam 7.2 and then i do the same thing on gcam 7.3 so in order to be very very fair i don't want to be biased here i like gcam i like gcam developed from with a uh, unis uh, developer it's a very very good gcam very very versatile so that's the way the process is going to work so after taking the pictures i'm going to start back from the very first picture with gcam 7.2 this is with that hdr in daylight which is good uh, this is 7.3 um if i don't keep them side by side you may know this is 7.2 hdr plus um then the 7.3 hdr plus and then we'll have 7.2 hdr plus enhanced and then you're going to have 7.3 hdr HDR plus enhanced so let me also show you the same processes we're going to take all kinds of pictures selfie portrait everything night sight astrophotography and it's still the same process it's quite difficult to actually get the same person to stay the same way to take like normal picture HDR um, uh, portrait mode and all those stuff but we really really have to try our best so just just give us a little encouragement if you can subscribe to this channel and because we have loads more we might try the three top G cam 7.3 i use know which one that is better uh I could just do the same thing with parrots you know g cam so it's really not easy to get somebody to stay and take out this picture but anyway let's just go into it this is the process i want to understand it because we have to be fair we have to make sure that the same thing we do here we replicate it in the other one and then we go through so let's go into the pictures right now so first is normal picture without any uh, HDR so this is it uh, 7.2 7.3 side by side I want you to be the judge for yourself I don't this is 7.2 we always start with 7.2 when we do individual pictures here and then this is 7.3 I mean both of them take good pictures in daylight you might not even see the difference but when it comes to portrait mode here when you talk about edge detection the level of blurness that I love I think I'm going somewhere for the GCAM 7.2 as you can see the edge detection is good and when, when you come down to the tail of that hair where there is a little bit rough uh, you will see that gcam 7.2 was able to deal with those very well now this is gcam 7.3 which is not bad either i did a great job but when it comes down to that tail of the hair you know it becomes a little bit more blurry at that place you know kind of blur it back now indoor portrait mode low light now if you look at it also i think i'm liking the edge detection on on the 7.2 if you look at it here right now it was able to pick some 
very little glance of hair on the hair and then also it also got the cup in focus on the other one so but when you go to 7.3 you will see there's a little bit struggle in that little little uh, uh, glance of hair and then the cup on the other side is a little bit blurry so some people might like it because it's a bit distant but when you look at the two of them if it's for me in focus i think i'll go with 7.2 here but you know just be the judge for yourself we still go into portrait selfie now this is what most of you would love to do the gcam 7.2 uh, there is a little bit of color signature you will see that later in the video because we'll still go indoor low light indoor selfie with hdr um they still did this i mean this time i think i'm beginning to like a little bit of the 7.3 here um we're still gonna show but be the judge i don't want to make you feel but yes i just want to give you all the possible scenario that we did now this is where the color signature becomes clear now the 7.2 favors the peach color and boosted a little bit why the lemon green was favored by uh, the same thing is shown in flash now taking with flash uh 7.3 has more flash power but the real accuracy of color real to life 7.2 wins it but the light flashlight is a bit poor now with inside light now with hdr plus on i uh, think uh, they cut out some of those things and they, it's it's like fair right now so if you're using gcam 7.2 uh, onyx i always you know advise you to use your hdr plus it's it's you know cuts out all those uh, color signature without the hdr plus so let's move to the night side still side by side so this is how dark the room is so i want to see it so that when you see the picture you understand this is like pure darkness so when we take it now deep inside night side also I don't know i think i'll call this a tie you know i'll call it a tie but <laughs> be the judge for yourself and then also when we go deep into night sight again you will see that that color reproduction um that's uh, the 7.2 kept its own color you know favoring the peach color instead of the lemon green why the other one does that so let's go into astrophotography now there are some things i you know saw here gcam 7.2 have more features where you can actually set the amount of time that you wait for an astrophotography picture this is very very important as you can see you can set it down to something like two which will interpret like eight seconds in real time and then you you can even use it to replace your night sight and it gives you more but having to wait almost four minutes for astrophotography man that was like waiting for paint to dry and then another advantage when talk about stability is that gcam 7.2 in my device this might not be the same in all device can record and save video i said that before you see it here so if you're watching to all this point you can subscribe um because it really takes a lot of time to wait for four minutes about four minutes for each picture to go in you replicate it on the other one you do it now in terms of stability i think i'm giving it to gcam 7.2 because 7.3 this struggle sometimes to save astrophotography and stuff like that but it did save so I'll give stability but in terms of the astrophotography 30 seconds is okay 40 seconds is okay the much there's not much difference after that you know so so this is the result 7.2 7.3 be the judge for yourself be the judge for yourself so if i show you the pictures you will know also now i took other astrophotography pictures so you see the color warm the color signature is warm in 7.2 but um uh it's a little bit uh, <laughs> kind of white balance on 7.3 and then about so that's about almost all the possible scenario you can still see that here but there is less noise in jcam 7.2 night side than in 7.3 if you look closely so the verdict if you ask me the verdict though 7.3 have more features i'm going to give it to jcam 7.2 but your verdict can be different so let me know in the comment section please subscribe to the channel because i'm going to bring out another gcam either 7.2 for parrot or the top subscribe. three 7.3